Hello, my peeps. And welcome to another Power Packed Phillips Podcast. Uh oh. Please take a moment to read your MSAs. If you would like to get a head start on a new packet for after spring break, we did problems one, two, three last night in online tutoring. They are posted in Blackboard. Just a reminder, you have five podcasts due for the fourth quarter. Your podcasts are posted in Blackboard underneath the announcements. Alrighty, let's jet to it. Today's lesson is going to be on 9.6, more factoring. Lesson 9.6, more factoring. No! Oh, yeah! It's not that bad. Here we go. In our last couple podcasts, we worked problems that had a coefficient of 1. In our last podcast and the one before that, you were asked to factor a trinomial that had a coefficient of 1 at the beginning. In today's podcast, we are going to talk about factoring when the coefficient at the beginning is not 1. So, let's do a problem that requires factoring when the coefficient at the beginning is not 1. If you would, please take a moment to write down 3n squared minus 17n plus 10. Please write down that trinomial. Notice in this trinomial that our coefficient at the beginning is not 1. Since it is not 1, we're going to have to do things a little differently. So, pay attention. If the coefficient is not 1 at the beginning, we are going to have to do things a little differently. So what are we going to do if this coefficient is not 1? We are going to multiply the numbers at the front and at the end together. We're going to multiply the numbers at the front and the end together. That's our first term and last term. So we're going to multiply 3 and 10 together. That's going to give us 30. Remember, we're doing it differently because this coefficient is not 1. So, what are all the numbers, factors, that we can multiply to make 30? Well, we can do 1 times 30. Bring up our handy-dandy calculator, make it do the work for you on the EOC. 30 divided by 2 is going to give us 15. So we have 2 times 15. Please list them on paper. We'll do 30 divided by 3. That's going to give us 10. 30 divided by 4. Hmm, don't think that one's going to work. No. So, that one will not work. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's try 5. 30 divided by 5 is going to give us 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 30 divided by 6. Gives us 5. Notice that we have a repeat. As soon as you get a repeat, you can stop. As soon as you get a repeat, you can stop. So, we have all the factors that we can multiply together to get 30. Remember, it was a positive 30. So, what can we multiply together to get a positive 30? Well, we've got lots of different combinations. Remember our cube for all our combinations? We can multiply positive by positive. That will give us 30. Make sure that you are writing these on your paper. We also could do a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative. Remember, 
remember that a negative times a negative is going to give you a positive. So here's our list of all the factors that we can multiply together to get to positive 30. Make sure you have the list on your paper. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to write the letter A for addition above the middle term. We're going to write the letter A for addition above the middle term. So I need two numbers that I can add together to give me negative 17. Remember, you can only use numbers from the list. We can only use numbers from the list. Well, I'm thinking 2 and 15 is going to give me 17. 2 and 15 is going to give me 17. Guys, keep in mind that it is a negative 17. So, I'm thinking that a negative 2 and a negative 15 will give me negative 17. Negative 2 and negative 15 will give me negative 17. So I'm going to be specific over here and I'm going to say negative 2 and negative 15 will add up to be negative 17. Here is our original trinomial. Since we can add a negative 2 and a negative 15 to give me negative 17, we are going to rewrite this middle term from the two numbers over here. Rewrite the middle term from the two numbers over here. So in your paper we have 3n squared. Rewrite your middle term negative 17n as negative 15n minus 2 plus 10. Pay very close attention please. Because this coefficient at the front of the problem is not 1, we have to factor this problem differently. Because this coefficient at the front is not 1, we have to factor it differently. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to rewrite 3n squared as 3 times n times n. We're going to rewrite negative 15n as negative 15 times n. I'll come back to this part in just a minute. Now I'm going to think of all the ways I can make 15. Ignore the negative. I can do 1 times 15 and I can do 3 times 5. Since I have a 3 over here, it would be really nice if I could find a number they have in common. They both have 3 in common. That is the greatest common factor. So I'm going to rewrite the 15 that was here as 3 times 5. I rewrote the 15 that was here as 3 times 5. Now I found that they both have 3 in common. I also see that they both have n in common. So over here I'm going to write what they have in common. They have a 3 and they have an n in common. That's what they share. Now I'm going to rewrite minus 2n as minus 2 times n. I'm going to rewrite my plus 10 as just plus 10. So basically, if you're catching on, basically what you're doing is you're playing Fruit Ninja right here, and you're cutting the problem in half. Oh, I do believe we have a karate sound here for cutting the problem in half. There you go. What we did was we just played Fruit Ninja and we cut the problem in half. Now, I'm looking over here to see if they have anything in common. 
I can make 10 by doing 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. So why don't I rewrite this 10 as 2 times 5. I rewrote the 10 as 2 times 5. Now I'm pretty close. Notice this is a negative 2. Hmm. What can I multiply together that would give me 10 if I'm using negatives? Hmm. Let me think about that. I could do negative 2 times negative 5. That would give me positive 10. Ding, 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 ding. I have an idea. Let's do negative 2 times negative 5. Now you're asking yourself, why did I just change that? Because now I can say they both have a negative 2. They both share a negative 2. So I'm going to put that down here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a parentheses behind each of these. Mmm, I love leftovers. Do you love leftovers? Especially cold pizza. Well, let's see what our leftovers are. We have an N, a minus, and we have a 5. So let's write our leftovers down here. An N, a minus, and a 5. On the other side, let's see what leftovers we have. We have an N, a minus, and a 5. Ooh, more cold pizza. Write your leftovers in the parentheses. An N, a minus, and a 5. So that's what our problem looks like right now. Hmm, this is really strange. I see that there is a parentheses N minus 5 and a parentheses n minus 5. Well, I don't want to have to write the same thing twice. Let's just write the same thing once. So let's write n minus 5. Hmm. Let's see. What's left over? Oh, why don't I put whatever's left over in my parentheses here? So what was left over is here in blue, 3n minus 2. So over here in blue, I'm going to write 3n minus 2. You ready for a brain break? I am. Let's see what we have in store for you today. Mm. Oh, nice one. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you're paying attention during this podcast. So this doesn't happen to you on the E O C. Ouch. So how can we check our answer to see if it's right? Hmm, let me see. I have no idea. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, we can foil. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. So let's foil. First, maybe I should unlock it. Now it's unlocked. 3n times n. I've got lots of ghosts flying around here. 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. n1 plus n1 gives me n to the second power. Now let's do the outside. 3n times negative 5. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. The dog follows us everywhere we go. Now let's do the inside. Maybe, possibly, oh this is looking like the bears. Maybe I should have said the flyers. Negative 2 times n. Negative 2 with Casper's help times 1 gives us negative 2. The dog follows us everywhere we go. First, outside, inside, last. Negative 2 times negative 5 gives us positive 10. 
we can combine like terms here. A negative 15 and a negative 2 oh, gives us negative 17n. Sweet! This is what we started with. This is what we factored. All right, we will work factoring some more, particularly factoring when our coefficient is not 1. But I do believe that you're smart enough to be able to do it on the EOC. Later.